Hello, hi guys. Um, I'm buzzing today because I am on my way to the airport. Um, I'm finally doing my year abroad. Uh, I did go to Tunisia and I did vlog that um, just before I left, but um, new phone and I lost all the footage. It wasn't on my it wasn't on my iCloud, so I lost all the footage for that. But if you do want to see how that trip went, please do go check out and um, follow my Instagram because I did um, upload pictures of my time there. Um, today, I am off to Morocco for the second time. Uh, so I'm going to take you on my journey. Hopefully, I get to vlog everything. I'm not very good uh, i'm quite camera shy to be honest i'm not very good at bringing my camera out in public especially my phone especially in foreign countries i just feel like all eyes are on me anyway so i don't need to draw more attention by bringing out a phone but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and vlog uh, my time in casablanca so yeah i'm not probably not gonna take any footage of me my journey um, because I live in London and London is hectic, you know, you've got to move fast. I don't have time to be whipping out my camera to be trying to vlog. But I will try. I will try. So let's go. there's so many people on the plane i literally booked in checked in yesterday and there was like no one on the the flight there were so many seats available but today is pack up i think people are connecting um their flights today maybe so yeah i'm about to switch my phone to airplane mode and catch some disease because i'm tired so i'll catch you guys later <laughs> Literally, I'm literally on my way to the Medina now. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot sunnier and hotter than I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out and see what Casablanca has to offer. I've literally just got in a taxi. Um, I swear to the red taxis are not supposed to pick up anybody else, but my guys picked up another taxi, but it's cool. Um, I'm on my way to uh, the park, which is one of the sites um, in Morocco, so we'll see how that goes. Guys, I have literally just made it to the park and it looks amazing. Literally so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys right now. It was a struggle to get here as well. 
Like, no, it seems like no one knew. Oh, I think this gate is closed. But it seems like no one knew where the, the park was. It's like, they knew there's a park, but they didn't know where it was, so. But anyway, I'm here now, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So guys, this is the park. How beautiful. This is the gate, which is closed, and I saw people using like a dirt path roadway um, to get in. So I think I'm gonna have to use that way as well because it's closed, the main gate is closed off and the side gate is closed off. So, but look, look at this park please. Beyond beautiful, beyond. Yeah, I'm gonna get in. See how it is on the inside as well. Halfway I saw people using and this is the side gate which is open. Oh, wow. I just can't. It was well worth <laughs> the struggle getting here, believe me. So right now, I am lost. I'm still walking. It's supposed to be a five minute walk to my next destination, which is a museum. Um, <laughs> I've been walking for about 40 minutes now. Um, nobody seems to know where this place is. Um, I've just been to a, a bank and <laughs> the guy, bless him, he drew me a diagram of where I need to go. So I'm trying to find a station. He said that I should find a station and then I should walk down from the station. So wish me luck. Oh my gosh, yes guys, I have made it to Villa des Arts. So we are entering the premises. I don't know what that means, but this is the building. This waterfall is so cute. And now we are going to enter the museum. So I've made it to the museum. This is one of the exhibition rooms. And you can see the artwork there. And They said, um, guys said the exhibition is in Spanish, but I'm not too sure if he meant like the paintings are all, um, the paintings and the artwork are all done by a Spanish person, or if it's just Spanish writing, you can see that person is Jose Manuel. So, yeah, that's all in Spanish. So it could all be Spanish artwork. Oh, same person. So yeah, could all be Spanish. Let's go into another room. Just see the artwork there. I just love how the hair is as well. Do you know what? I'm gonna be cheeky and actually ask for a picture out there because it looks beautiful. I can find the man or ask him if it's possible. <laughs> So yeah, it's looking good. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy all the artwork and I'll touch base with you guys later. So guys, I've just got done at the Villa de Arts. The guy in there, Abdul, um, he's so nice, the security. So I highly recommend the place. So now I'm just waiting at the road for a taxi. And I'm about to head to San Mosque. architecture in this place is truly amazing and it's huge like the mosque just goes on <laughs> forever but it's beautiful and it's right by the beach as well so I'm just gonna have a walk about and appreciate the beauty of this place so this is the first time I'm actually looking inside the mosque and I need a ticket to go past this point but from what I see it's beautiful on the inside just as much on the outside so I'm gonna go because I'm blocking people's way 
So I've just gotten back into my hotel room after a long day out. As you can see on my face, I'm greasy as fuck. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've got a pizza and I've unpacked uh, my bag um, that I took out. So I'm just going to put it in my suitcase, sort myself out and chill for the rest of the day. So I'll see you. Good afternoon, guys. It is currently 2 p.m. in Morocco. Um, I'm dressed and ready to go out, but I just can't seem to find the energy to actually leave bed. Um, but I will soon and I'm gonna head to the market and take you guys with me and then I'll also be going to Sky 28 which is kind of like oh I need to adjust this because it's hurt my hand <clears throat> sorry but it's kind of like the shard of Morocco really it's like a bougie kind of place so I'll be going there I'm trying to video some of that if they let me. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So guys, I'm on my way now to uh, the Moroccan Mall. Huh? No. <laughs> and every time, every time I get inside a taxi, a taxi, they always tell me not to wear my seatbelt. So um, it's something that they don't do here. Um, but I'm on my way to the mall now, and I'll take you guys with me to show you what it looks like inside. So um, I'm just finished at the mall and I've just walked up a bit and there is the beach here and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go down in a bit as well to see um to get a bit closer to the sea but gosh it's been so long since I've been close to the seaside I'm so excited. hotel sky bar was amazing um, I'm just getting some takeaway and then I'm heading off so right now I am in Rabat and I've just been to the Hassan Tower I forgot to show that but I'm at Maren, Marena Marina uh, right now um, and then I'm going to head off to um, another ruining so I'll show you that So guys, I am back in Casablanca. I pretty much didn't vlog anything that much today. I'm so sorry. This vlogging shit is actually really hard. I don't know how people do it. But anyway, um, I am in the, <laughs> the madness again. So that was incredibly quiet compared to Casablanca. Um, but I'm going to just get some souvenirs, chill at the hotel now. Um, I'm tired from the journey. Uh, so yeah, if you're wondering how much it costs, they cost um, 37 di dirhams um, each way. So that's about three pounds, three pounds fifty, three pounds seventy each way, um, and it takes about an hour or just under an hour to get to. So it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna find some souvenirs and chill. See you. Right, so I'm at the train station right now. I'm about to get on a um, train to go to the airport and from there I will have a long layover 
um, and Lisbon to my next destination so just keep tuned for that and you should see where I'm going in the next vlog. Bye!